Good morning, people. Watch Women 65, Lisa Boyce. I'm going to give you the gospel. It's in 1 Corinthians 15, 1 through 4. Christ shed his blood for all of our sins, past, present, and future, was buried and rose again on the third day according to scripture. We're saved by grace through faith in Christ alone, not of ourselves, not of works. At least any man should boast. It is grace, something we didn't earn, something we don't deserve, that God gave his only begotten son that whosoever... Here's the key word. Believe in him. <laughs> Will not perish, but have eternal life. How do you believe? You put your faith and trust in him. You admit you're a sinner in need of Christ. You put your faith and trust in him. You admit you're a sinner. You accept him as savior. And you're saved. You're saved. You're justified by the blood of Jesus. Rapture ready. And sealed until the day of redemption, which means you will not lose your salvation. The Holy Spirit will dwell in you. The Holy Spirit will lead you, guide you. He's your best friend. The Holy Spirit will change you. Um, I'm coming on early this morning because I got some information off of Hal Turner. And I got something off of War News 24-7. Um, the Hal Turner thing, and this is a report, and it's almost, almost saying the same thing on uh, War News. China sanctions uh, Nancy Pelosi and refuse entry into China and Taiwan. So the reports are coming in from Asia as of 4 o'clock this morning, Eastern Time, claiming that the People's Republic of China has sanctioned U.S. Speaker Nancy Pelosi. The reports also claim that as a result of being sanctioned, she is denied entry into China and into Taiwan. I don't know why she would go to China anyway, but she is denied entry into Taiwan. So even if she was planning on going to Taiwan, she can't go. Uh, the reports are coming... Um, from media persons on the ground inside Asia, but their media outlets have yet to report uh, anything yet. So Pelosi departed the United States yesterday um, aboard U.S. Air Force C-40 transport aircraft, which allegedly had two fighter jets to as escort. The plane was tracked across the continental USA out into the Pacific and landed in Hawaii to refuel. Um, and this is what her office is stating. It says, I'm leading a congressional delegation to the Indo-Pacific to reaffirm America's unshakable commitment to our allies and friends in the region. In Singapore, Malaysia, South Korea, and Japan, we'll hold high-level meetings to discuss how we can further um, how we can further share interests and values. She must have been she must have been drunk when she wrote this, but anyway, you'll see it later. The same aircraft took off from Hawaii, but tracking of it was then blocked, so they went off the radar claiming the plane was no longer being tracked because of, they said because of engine trouble, which is, it doesn't make sense. So as of 4.09 a.m. this morning, it is not known where her plane is or if it has perhaps landed elsewhere in Asia. And as her itinerary did mention stops in Singapore, Malaysia, South Korea, and Japan, and elsewhere for this trip. So the question remains, why has she, um, why is she engaging in foreign travel is also a mystery. Generally, that's why the U.S. has a Secretary of State She's the Speaker of the House. But usually, and that is true, the Secretary of State does that, not the Speaker. So, um, now it says, as of 9-17, it turns out, 
when her aircraft developed engine trouble, its tracking was turned off. Listen to this. It returned to Hawaii, where she spent the night there. This morning, the plane took off from Hawaii westward into the Pacific. So at this 918 hour, 918, it is landing at Guam, which is, uh, I think, outside Japan. For what is worth, Pelosi staff are now emphasizing that Taiwan is not on her agenda right now. Hmm. Interesting. Travel agenda is not on her travel agenda right now. Now, let me get to uh let me get to this right now. <laughs> Um, Chinese missiles barrage in Taiwan Strait. DF-22 aircraft carrier uh, killers deployed fighters and helicopters mass takeoff. So the Chinese army is laying the foundations for a large, that's an earthquake, um, in Pakistan. Interesting. So the Chinese army is laying the foundations for a large-scale attack against Taiwan on the occasion of the possibility of a visit by her. Well-informed Chinese as well as Russian sources report that the transfer of forces that have nothing to do with a simple military exercise has begun. So, her office has revealed that she is expected to visit Singapore tomorrow for a U.S. Chamber of uh, Commerce event. In its program, it explicitly included the countries of Singapore, Malaysia, South Korea, Japan, but again, not Taiwan. Chinese sources said they did not expect anything different at this stage. If the Pelosi visit takes place, it will be a surprise and will not be announced. Chinese troops will therefore remain on alert until she is gone. Um, so the uh, People's Liberation Army warplanes have started 24 hours ago to conduct sorties around the island of Taiwan to protect their country's national sovereignty and territorial integrity. That uh, This was stated by the official spokesperson of the uh, PLA, China Air Force. Uh, at the same time, in China's Fuwan province next to Taiwan, arrays of the Chinese People's Liberation Army HQ-22 air defense system were spotted being transported while the DF-17 hypersonic ballistic missile was launched. Also carried were 300 millimeter mylars, Chinese amphibious forces conduct landing simulations on beaches similar to those in Taiwan. Um, I got videos here as I link both of these uh, in the description box. It says the Chinese army fired at least 50, missile towards, 50 missiles toward the Taiwan Strait late at night. Specifically, the residents of Fuhan region were faced with an unprecedented sight. The Chinese army deployed heavy Mylar PHL-16 systems and launched missile attacks directed at the Taiwan Straits. The PHL-16 Mylars are an analog of the American HIMARS system. However, they carry heavy 370 millimeter guided missiles capable of hitting targets at distances up to 220 kilometers and according to some sources, up to 500 kilometers. It is worth noting that Taiwan is only 180 kilometers away from this point, so it is within their range. Um, Chinese sources said the missile strikes were carried out along the eastern part of the strait, and the impact was so massive that it could be seen up to 80 kilometers away. So, it's 
something is going on. I mean, something is obviously going on, but, um... So far, it's being said that Taiwan is not on the itinerary. Gee, I wonder why. But we'll, you know, we'll see what happens. Um... We'll see what happens. I I could be wrong, but I have a strong feeling that China is going to invade Taiwan. And it's going to happen any time now. I think it's going to happen at any moment. Could it be while she's there? I don't know. I have no idea. But I just got a strange feeling that they're about to invade Taiwan. And it could be just because of the fact that she visited, that she's there on the horizon. She's not visiting Taiwan per se, but the simple fact that she's there. Who's to say she can't make a phone call to Taiwan while she's there visiting Malaysia and other areas? So even though they denied her access to Taiwan, um... We really don't know what's going on. Something is happening. I can feel it with every fiber of my being. Something is going on. So we'll see. I'm going to keep track of this uh, all day and find out what it is. Uh, in the meantime, I'm going to link these articles in the description box. I'm sure I'll be back later <laughs> for whatever is going on. Thank you.